I think it was like an AR game you played with your Switch as well as a part of this. Um, I Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. So there's a camera on the RC car that you'll see on your Nintendo Switch. So you see the track on the floor, like AR-wise, on the Switch as you play the real car in front of you. I'm wondering, like, I, I did see that one. I, I was All I could think was, like, do I have to clean off enough floor area? Yeah, you're also like, do I have or, enough open or is space? Or is it going to make, like, a track out mm-hmm. of, like, I'm, am I going to have to go around the dining room table and then, like, around, like, through the kitchen and make a tight turn? Like, I'm interested to see how they do this. Because mm-hmm. it could be a lot of fun. And everybody's house could be a different track. So players will be able to create tracks, even seemingly complex ones, by peppering their floor with coarse gate markers, um, but they haven't really fleshed out what that, that concept is going to be. So ideally, I, I think it is um, you lay the markers for the track, and then the switch kind of connects those dots and develops a track around it, from what I can tell. Things make sense. You map the trap track itself, and you do one lap to create the track. Yeah, yeah. And then it just it probably just fills in like we're gonna put stuff throughout the track um, here and there too. But like, so. are the, the car is gonna be able to go faster if I mm-hmm. like get a mushroom? Like, like this could be kind of I don't know. It could be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had the open space and <laughs> oh, it could be fun. No, I like it. It's like a hundred dollars though, so. You want to get into the RC cars? I can't remember what the the one that would, like uh, Apple had on stage at one of the. Oh, WWDC there, yeah, you get whatever. those, yeah, those uh, Argo racers, was it? Yeah, 